us your general thoughts on the upcoming season. Well, you know, uh, last year we hit some bumps in the road after after the first half of the season. We started out pretty hot. We had an opportunity there to get out to a four and zero start at one point with Jackson State. We lost it in the last minute of the game. And uh, I want to believe in the uh, against North Carolina A&T in the Circuit City Classic. We lost Preston Brown for the year, and he was at that point leading the country in, in rushing. And we just didn't have a whole lot of depth last year. Now we're not going to make any excuses about it. We addressed those issues uh, in recruiting, and we feel real good about what we have coming back this year. And it's going to be exciting. Your senior linebacker Rico Council was named preseason OVC co-defensive player of the year. Tell us about what he brings to your program. Well, he brings a lot of energy. He brings a lot of commitment. It brings desire. You know, Rico's a kid that uh, you know from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, doesn't come from a whole lot, but you know he's maximized everything that he has, and I'm real proud of him for the simple fact that he's getting all of these preseason accolades. But he's only 14 hours away from graduating in the fall, so that's what I'm more impressed with Rico about is where he came from in the beginning, because he academically he struggled his first year just to get eligible, and now you got a kid that's getting ready to get a college degree, and uh, he's getting a whole lot of football accolades, and and may have an opportunity to play at the next level. What can we expect from the Tigers offensively this season? Well, I mean, we want to gain our identity like we had the first part of the season last year. We want to be a, a tough, hard-nosed football team. We want to be able to run the football yet and still. We feel that we have a couple of big arms back there that can stretch the field. So we want to be a balanced football team. We're not going to hang our hat so much on the run like we did last year. Uh, we want to work to be really balanced in what we're doing. And uh, I think that we'll put up the numbers and, you know, uh, control the football a little bit. What do you like most about your team this year? Um, I like the energy. Uh, you know, we, we've got a bunch of our freshmen in on campus right now. Uh, summer workouts have been going well, and our guys understand. I think, uh, you know, last year it was a, it was an eye-opening experience. It was a humbling experience for all of us with, with the start that we had and the way we finished the season. And our, our guys understand that it's going to take a team to win football games, and you got to play 60 minutes. What is the biggest challenge for your team this year? Well, I think the biggest challenge will be youth. Uh, if you look at our roster, we're 75, 85% um, redshirt freshmen, sophomores, freshmen. So uh, I think that's gonna, it's going to be how fast those guys can mature in backup roles and in some cases uh, starting positions uh, that will do, do well. Uh, I think if we can um, stay healthy with our starters and, and bring those guys along slowly, um, we could be in the race. What are your general impressions of the OVC race this year? Um, you know, uh, like I said, I'm, I think the OVC is a heck of a conference, and I think uh, Jacksonville State, Murray State, you know, they're receiving some pr uh, pretty high uh, accolades right now, deservingly so. I mean, th those guys, uh, Murray put a ton of points on the board. I mean, it's basketball on grass out there with them. It's a track meet. They use every inch of the field. Jacksonville State, on the other hand, they're grinded out uh, type offense, and they'll hit you with the big play with play action, and uh, got some great athletes, and they're going to play a heck of a defense, so uh, I'm really impressed with, with the teams, and, and, and that's not even saying anything about the UT Martins. Uh, you know, the, the, the um, 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 what's those other teams in our conference? The UT, <laughs> UT Martins, Eastern Kentucky, you know, uh, Southeast Missouri, who, you know, was in the playoffs last year, and I think they're picked fourth or fifth. So, uh, I mean, it's going to be a tough conference. Uh, we understand that, but, we, you know, we got to strap them up and play from week to week and let the chips fall where they may. Tell us about your team playing for the Sergeant York Trophy again this year and how important that is to your program. Oh, it's going to be important to get old Sarge back. Sarge is heavy as heck now. It, you know, winning it, it might be the easy part than carrying it into your facility. I, I think, uh, you know, our kids have started to take some pride in that, and that's an interstate thing, you know, with us, um, UT Martin Tech, Austin P. And, um, you know, it, it's, a, it's rivalry games each week every time you play those games. So we want to get that trophy back over at TSU, and I think that uh, it's a great thing to have. It's great for our conference. It's great for the state of Tennessee, and it's great for recruiting. Tell us a little about your schedule and how it plays out for your team this year. Man, it, it doesn't get any easier <laughs> in the OVC. I mean, we start out non-conference. Our first game is against Southern, and then we have Jackson State, and I think Austin P slides in there with, with the conference game. 
and then we go play Air Force. Uh, we step out of conference to play Air Force, which I think will be a top 25 team. And then, you know, we come back and get into conference play. So it's going to be a tough schedule, but uh, our kids are up to the challenge. And, uh, you know, everybody wants to go play the Division One. but we'll get to go out to Colorado Springs, play in what I hear is a beautiful venue and a beautiful area. So uh, we're really excited about that.